the whole thing starts with the seventh month which is a mirror of the first month when we study the calendar we can see how the 12 months of the calendar are divided in two sets of six each so the first six uh, months are a mirror of the other six months so the first and the seventh which is the first of the second set the first month and the seventh uh, month are connected so the energy of the first and the seventh are uh, is connected in the spiritual uh, level so like I said it starts with the seventh month which is very important month and just like the first month had to do with the first coming the seventh month the, the seventh month which is the second set represents the second coming so and in the seventh month of the first day of the month this is the only feast of the eighth that Yahweh told us to uh, remember to keep on Leviticus 23 this is the only feast that happens on the first day of the month so it is a key feast for several reasons also when it comes to the calendar um, because of the things that have been done to keep for instance the Jewish calendar and on the other hand some arguments that can be used against that calendar when it comes to um, finding the true calendar so what I mean is um, this feast because of the fact that it's on the first day and the customs that were uh, kept by the Jewish people because of the commandments of men uh, this feast helps to see in certain points of scripture uh, certain issues with that uh, Jewish calendar the way they keep it since Babylon so um, I mean the exile in Babylon when they came out they already brought this false calendar that they use till now and they were in Babylon way before Messiah came so when Messiah came like I have said the calendar uh, of Yahweh and the calendar of the Jewish people um, merged or not merged but were synchronized that year in which Messiah died so that the Jewish people would fulfill the day without knowing it so like I was saying on the first day of the month you shall have a set apart convocation you shall have a set apart calling pretty much or yeah you will call the people to meet in one place to have a set apart meeting so uh, in the seventh month of the first day of the month you shall have a set up our convocation you shall do no customary work since it is a feast it has to be on the uh, I mean there has to be no work on it because a feast is also called a Shabbat and Shabbat means uh, not working so you shall do no customary work with, because it is a feast even though when we look in the calendar if I'm not mistaken, Yom Teruah falls on a fourth day of the week. Um, and I say that because when it comes to uh, the falls calendar, become the feast always fall on different days of the week. However, the fact that Yahweh tells us to not work on that day is because the feast does not fall on Shabbat. However, in the Jewish calendar, it does fall on Shabbat on certain years. So continuing it says for for you it is a day of blowing the trumpets in Hebrew it says Yom Teruah will be for you Yom Teruah day of uh, blowing meaning trumpets or the Shofarot so that is where we get the name for instance Yom Teruah the Jewish people because of the their calendar they call it Rosh Hashanah which is the head of the year uh, that is where we get the word Yom Teruah, I repeat. And Yahweh is saying that we must blow the Shofarot or the Shofar on that day. 